Well, while the official start of summer is June 21st, of course, people have already been hitting the beaches and soaking up the sun. There is a new study out from Blue Cross Blue Shield that has some alarming results. Skin cancer diagnoses on Cape Cod are double the national average, and overall Massachusetts ranks higher than the national average. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the U.S., and the deadliest form, melanoma, has increased 7% in just four years. Well, joining us tonight, to discuss this is Dr. Bruce Nash. He is the chief physician executive at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts. Uh, they came out with this study, the National Blue Cross Blue Shield. So Dr. Nash, let's start off with those Cape Cod statistics. They are alarming, of course. The top four areas in your study were in Florida. And then we have number five, mm -hmm. Cape Cod. That's the number five spot in the country. Why does this part of the state have such a high rate of skin cancer? Are we, is it just the beaches and people going to the beaches? Or is there something about the demographics on Cape Cod? Yes, it's more the latter, Liam. I mean, the reality of it is it's data, right? So we're basically looking at aggregate data across the United States, comparing rates of skin cancer diagnoses. And when we look at the population who's living out on the Cape, they do have that higher rate that really is twice the national average. But when we really sort of peel back the onion to say why, why is that the case? Certainly um, sun exposure is linked to skin cancer and you, know, you can have the reflection from the water, you can have a reflection from the sand. But more uh, fundamentally, it's the risk of the individual, what their genetics are, you know, what their racial background is. So if we have more fair-skinned people uh, in Massachusetts, which we do, uh, we would have a higher rate of skin cancer just naturally than other populations that may have darker skinned individuals. Right. Mm. So how did you come up with the findings? Yeah, so uh, Blue Cross uh, Blue Shield of Massachusetts is one of 36 Blue Cross plans across the country. And we pull the data, and this is very exciting because we're using new tools in, uh, in regard to being able to get really into the data, understand trends on a national basis. It's de-identified, so it's not pr individual people associated with it. So we're able to look at rates and map these out across individual cities and counties across the entire country, looking for variations in certain diagnoses and trying to understand what we might do to improve the Prevention, uh, in, in, in addition to Cape Cod, why are they going up uh, across the country? Is it just the people are living longer, so they've got a higher chance of well, getting skin cancer? you know, I think some of that would say we don't know. Uh, you know, the, 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 the real concern here is not so much that our rates are high in Massachusetts, it's that the rates are going up, mm. and that's true across the entire country. I think that uh, it's been based upon, the, it's certainly linked to sun exposure, and that sun exposure takes many years to accumulate. So what we're seeing today is some of the skin damage that occurred decades past, mm. and mm. we think back perhaps you know some of us as we were growing up I remember uh, my sisters would sit there you know with baby oil on and yeah. album covers yeah. and album you know. covers with tin foil <laughs> yes, right, right, on them. Yeah. so um, mm. now, it was a long while before sunscreens became uh, used mm. but even the early sunscreens weren't that effect effective as the sunscreens today since you brought it up I have to ask if you remember being a little girl running around Cape Cod with blistered skin from a bad sunburn I mean is there anything you can do to compensate for that or is the damage done? Well, actuality, that bad sunburn is damaging your DNA. Mm -hmm. And every one of those bad sunburns greatly increases the risk wow. of uh, uh, cancer. So there is nothing do, you can do to undo that risk mm -hmm. other than prevent further sun exposure. Yeah, and speaking Spe specifically, uh, you know, sun tanning beds. That, that was one thing that I really think that we have to take a serious look at from a safety perspective, particularly in younger women. Right. And what are some other things that we should be doing? There's the debate about the SPF. 30 or higher, or do you go higher than that? 50, 100? How high would you say people should Generally be? Generally speaking, we should be using at least 30. And the SPF, the sun protection factor, is really the gauge to say, well, it would take 30 times longer to get a sunburn than had you not used it, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it doesn't increase, like uh, 100 is not twice 50. 50 is about as high as you really need to go. But more importantly, it's putting enough on. And you really have to put on an average size individual, an ounce or an ounce and a half, I, I would describe to patients, a shot glass full, yeah. and reapply it every two hours for it to be effective. Do you think the spray is as effective as the thick lotion? Hmm. I think the new sprays today can be very good they as well. The, the one thing that should, should be uh, noted, and that I noticed that myself, is that we often have these tubes of uh, um, you know, uh, sun, sun lotion that's been there for a couple of years uh -huh. from the vacation. Yep. They're really, after three years or so, they need to be tossed because they, they, really not, they lose their effectiveness in a big way. Yeah. So who should be getting screened uh, for skin cancer by their dermatologist? Everyone, and when should we begin? At what age? 
Well, <clears throat> your risk is going to be higher depending on your specific family history as well as your own uh, you know, uh, skin tones, if you will. Mm -hmm. So th those people who are very fair-skinned, who burn easily, certainly should be screened earlier. Everyone should be screened, though, on, from a, on a primary care basis and certainly on a regular basis once you hit age 50 or so. Age 50. Dr. Nash, thanks so much for coming in and giving us the information. We appreciate it. We do hope we have a lot of sun, which Eric will be talking <laughs> about, but we got to protect ourselves this summer.